Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And today we will be creating a scatter plot and we will also learn how to apply filters to multiple worksheets. And hooray, finally we're going to create more than one worksheet in our Tableau workbook. So that's gonna be fun. Let's uh, get straight at it. To start off with, uh, we've got this map here in front of us uh, that we worked with uh, last time. And as you remember, we have this filter that we are applying to the map. So we are looking at one specific year uh, rather than aggregating across multiple years. So let's just remember that and let's go ahead and create our second worksheet in this workbook. So to create another worksheet, you gotta click this button over here at the bottom, which uh, says new worksheet. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you click that, it creates a new worksheet. And it's a good time now to rename our worksheet. So uh, you just double click on the worksheet name and here we'll say uh, map of Europe. And now if we double click on the second one, we will say customer scatter plot. Okay, so let's get ahead with our customer scatter plot. So as you remember, the first thing that we did in the previous tutorial was to make sure we're looking at the right time period of our data. Because it is important to remember when uh, or know when your data includes multiple years or different time periods that you want to look at individually. And because that's a common mistake, sometimes people uh, create a dashboard and they forget to add the filter and they're instead of looking at every single year by itself, they're looking at the sum for all of the years and that might not be what they're uh, intending or uh, to see when they're designing the dashboard. So once again, what we can do is we can drag order date into filter, select years and you know do the same thing that we did last time. But we're not going to do that because what we want to do is we want to look at the same year across all of our worksheets. And this is where we, so if we had many, many more worksheets, we wanted to look at the same year across all of them. And so this is where we're going to learn how to apply a worksheet across uh, many different, oh, uh, apply a filter across many different worksheets. So to start off with, um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, add some data into this worksheet and then we'll apply the filter. And I'll explain in a minute why we're doing it in that order. So let's say we want to look at sum of sales in columns and we want to look at the sum of profit in rows. And so here what has happened is Tableau has aggregated the total sum of sales for all of the years, all of the customers, all of the regions for everything and the sum of profit as well. And now it's just showing one dot. And as you remember, if we want to disaggregate it, we can either go to analysis and we can uncheck aggregate measures and then it'll be showing uh, a dot for every single one. Or um, let's just leave aggregate measures on. We can just add uh, some information into the detail, change the granularity of the view. And that way Tableau will automatically aggregate at that level of granularity. So how about we add customer name into detail? And right away we have a dot for every single customer. Um, so what we're going to do now is we will work with that, um, work to create that filter across multiple worksheets. So let's go to Map of Europe. And as you remember this filter that we have here on year, what we're going to do now is we're going to right click it and we will say apply to worksheets and we'll say all using this data source. So that means any worksheet using this data source will automatically have this filter applied to it. You can also select worksheets, but um, I kind of recommend doing all using this data source unless you have a specific case when you need to select specific worksheets. So let's go ahead and use it on all uh, the worksheets that are using this data source, click that. And right away you can see that a database icon has appeared on the left of the filter, meaning that it's been applied at the level of the data source. So basically any worksheet that's using this data source will automatically have this filter applied. And if we go to customer scatter plot, you will see right away that this filter has been applied here already. And if we right click and we say uh, that we would like to see a quick filter, you will see the quick filter on the left, on the right here. It hasn't been formatted, so that's easy to fix. Uh, customize, show all value, we'll just switch that off. And then we'll just change it to um, the single value slider, just like in the previous case. So now if I change it, if I go from 2014 to 2012, 
you'll see that this has changed as well. Over here, it's changed 2012. Now, if I go to 2011 and go back, you will see that the filter has changed here as well. So this is kind of a filter that's been applied to all worksheets which are using this data source. Now, you will find that if I go to these worksheets, the new ones that currently are not using any data source because there's no data on the um, in the workspace, the filter has been applied. And that's simply because Tableau doesn't know if this, this worksheet is going to be using this data source or not because... Eventually, you might add another data source and I use that one. And then in that case, the filter won't be applied. So as soon as you drag anything from this um, work uh, from this data source onto the worksheet, let's take number of records and just drag it here, you will see right away that the filter has been applied. And that's how uh, filters across different worksheets work. It's a very, very handy feature. And actually... Um, took me uh, some time to find out about it and I used to just apply separate work separate filters to every worksheet and it can be a nightmare when you have like 20 or 30 whereas when you have um, when you use the work this filter that is applied across worksheets it's very easy to make sure your all of your worksheets are showing the right information for that specific year or for that specific region or for whatever you're filtering on very good uh, in terms of consistency. So let's go back to our customer scatter plot and continue creating it. So what is this scatter plot currently showing us? It is showing us the profitability of customers. So basically based on the sales that we made to that customer, what is the profit that we re received in return from that customer as well? So let's make this um, scatter plot a little bit prettier uh, because there's a lot of dots here and we can't really... Um, I uh, can't really say anything about uh, the ones that are overlapping. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some color. And the color that we're going to add is we're going to look at a profit margin. Because in essence, if you take profit and divide by sales, that is your profit margin. And so if uh, we take profit margin, which we a calculated field which we created last time, and we take uh, drag it onto color, you'll see that uh, the shapes have been colored now. Now we're going to uh, change the type of shape. So we'll just click shape. Um, even though we don't have anything on shape right now, um, we don't have a variable that controls the shape. What we can do is we can change the shape ourselves. So in this case, we want the circles. And like last time, what we're going to do is we're going to change the color to red and blue. We'll click apply. Um, so next, what we're going to do is um, change the size of these bubbles. So if we go to size, make them a bit bigger. Well, that's obviously too big. So maybe somewhere there. Um, yeah, that looks okay. Maybe we'll also change the color in terms of levels. So we'll go to edit colors and we'll say, just like we did in the previous tutorial, we'll say minus 0 0.5 is, oops, is already bad, so minus 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 is already good, so apply. Okay, so that's already looking better, and now we've got map of Europe, we've got profitability of our customers, and oh, one more thing is, because they do overlap here, what we can do is we can go to color and then change the transparency, so let's set it at 75%, so now you can see uh, the times when they overlap. And once again, this is uh, already quite a good scatter plot that we've created. So we can see how the customer profitability uh, changes from customer to customer. And if we change the years, you can see how the profile changes overall. So here in 2013, you've got some very unprofitable customers. Uh, here you've got a bit of a different profile more scattered and also if you need to do some investigations you can just put your uh, mouse over a certain uh, dot here and it'll tell you exactly who that customer is what the profit is what the sales was what the profit margin for that customer is for that given year so that is a very handy tool to have right away it can help you like somebody who's analyzing this uh, the sales for this shop they can just go and see okay the more the least profitable customers maybe um maybe something needs to be done there some customer service service or um 
maybe those customers are uh, purchasing the wrong, wrong products or something like that. And then you can look at the most profitable customers and maybe they should be included in a loyalty program or something uh, along those lines. So that's how uh, we create scatter plots in Tableau. And in the next tutorial, we will finally create our very first dashboard. And that will be super exciting. So I look forward to seeing you then. And until next time, happy analyzing.